What's going on on my YouTube buddies? I'm Jacob with another update on my now 25 plus films challenge video where I'm going through as many comedies as I can throughout 2021. I have, com I have completed the 25 part on the 25 films challenge. I decided to extend the challenge because I wanted to watch as many comedies as I can throughout 2021. I'm at I'm now at 30 on this series so in part four of this video series I'm going to share films 26 to 34. Uh, before I share what I watched I will leave a link in the description below for Nathan Hale's YouTube channel who came up with the 25 films challenge idea and also his announcement video if you want to learn more about the 25 films challenge and if it inspires you to do a similar challenge of your own. So without further ado here are the next movies that I watched for the 25 plus films challenge. Film number 26 is The Return of the Pink Panther, the fourth film in the Pink Panther franchise, bringing back Peter Sellers as Jacques Clouseau and Blake Edwards as a director. The film felt like a mix between the caper aspects of the original Pink Panther and the slapstick comedy of A Shot in the Dark with Jacques Clouseau in front and center. While the film does feel like a greatest hits package, and it is played a little too safe, and it is dragged out at times, I did have great fun watching this one for the first time. Peter Sellers is still at the top of his game as Jacques Clouseau. I enjoy the comic energy from Blake Edwards. There is a lot of hilarious sequences in the film, and I had a great experience checking this one out. Currently my second favorite in the franchise behind A Shot in the Dark. I ended up giving the film a 4 out of 5 stars on Letterboxd and a 78 out of 100 on the 100 point scale. After that, I watched Abbott and Costello meet the mummy, concluding the Abbott and Costello Universal Monsters crossover trilogy, following the ones where they meet Frankenstein and the Invisible Man. This was easily my least favorite film in the Abbott and Costello trilogy, but it's easily one of the better classic mummy films because the injection of Abbott and Costello made the film very entertaining. The Abbott and Costello stuff was funny as ever. The mummy stuff was a little too convoluted and it's a little bit on the serious side, which was a little disappointing. But when Abbott and Costello are in the picture, this film is a lot of fun, but it is a little imbalanced tonally throughout and I guess that's why it's the weakest. But it is an enjoyable film overall and I do highly recommend it, especially if you're a fan of Abbott and Costello. I ended up giving the film a three and a half out of five on Letterboxd and a 63 out of 100 on the 100 point scale. 10 Things I Hate About You. I love this movie. It's one of the best romantic comedies I've ever seen. It's crazy that they took a Shakespeare story that I'm not familiar with and made a modern adaptation. And even though I'm not familiar with the Shakespeare story, I love how fresh and creative and subversive 10 Things I Hate About You was. I love the pairing of Julia Stiles and especially Heath Ledger. The film was wildly entertaining. I was cracking up throughout this entire film. And it's one of the smartest teen comedies that I've ever seen. Do yourself a favor and check out 10 Things I Hate About You if, ha if you haven't already. The film's currently on Disney+. Plus. I ended up giving the film a 5 out of 5 on Letterboxd and a 93 out of 100 on the 100 point scale. Ghost of Girlfriends Past, starring Matthew McConaughey and Jennifer Garner. When I started this movie, I did not realize until I started watching the film that this is a very different adaptation of A Christmas Carol. There's no Christmas elements in this. It's just Matthew McConaughey is this jerk, selfish playboy who gets visited by ghosts of girlfriends of his past, the girlfriends who, that he screwed over over the years. And he pretty much gets a, his payback pretty much and learns how to change his ways. I did enjoy this film even though it's very predictable and very safe. But it is an interesting spin on the Christmas Carol story. And the cast overall is what makes this film work. Especially the chemistry between McConaughey and Jennifer Gardner who were excellent on screen together. It's not a great movie by any means. But it's still an enjoyable and amusing watch, especially as a longtime Christmas Carol fan. I ended up giving the film a 3.5 out of 5 on Letterboxd and a 66 out of 100 on the 100 point scale. 
And finally, film number 30 on this challenge is Leap Year. This is a movie that came out in 2010 and it stars Amy Adams. I gotta be honest, this movie was terrible. It's one of the worst comedies I've covered on this challenge. The film was painfully unfunny as a rom-com. The movie does have beautiful cinematography of the Irish landscapes, but the chemistry between Amy Adams and Matthew Good was terrible. I didn't buy their relationship as it develops throughout the course of the film. I didn't find each character likable, so that didn't help either. And the situational comedy in this movie was absolute cringe. The whole story was predictable from start to finish. There's no real surprises in this movie. It felt like what would happen if Amy Adams starred in a Hallmark movie. I'm not a big Hallmark person, so this movie fell flat on its face for me. But hey, my mom and aunt both enjoy this film, so I guess there's fans of this movie out there. But for me, I ended up giving the film a 1 out of 5 on Letterboxd and an 18 out of 100 on the 100 point scale. So that's my latest update of the 25 plus films challenge related to comedies. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've seen any of the movies that I talked about in this video, what are your thoughts on these films? Did you like them? Did you hate them? Were you mixed on them? But whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. Once again, I'll leave the link in the description below for Nathan Hale's channel, the guy who came up with this idea, and also his announcement video if it gives you any ideas to do a similar challenge of your own. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button to see more content, and the notification bell next to it so you can be notified of future videos. If this is your first video, I usually do movie reviews, TV reviews, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!